some faces I haven't seen. We uh, wish that you would leave your email address. Uh, we have a pad in the front so that we can keep you posted on uh, the events that will be coming up. We're going to be, in January, we, we, we're going to have kind of an interesting, we're going to have Howard Alden here, Mundell Lowe, and me. <laughs> anyway, we were doing some concerts, so we decided to do a workshop with the three of us here, which, uh, and that's going to be, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's going to be early in the, uh, it's the first uh, Sunday, I believe it's the fourth. We will be sending out emails about this in, in, uh, very soon. And uh, then we're real happy for February to have Carl Heinen right here, who's going to be doing his workshop. Uh, and that should be, uh, that should be a, a, one, a great one also. And uh, what was the date we had? Was that this? I should have had the, I think it's the 15th, it's about the middle of the month. And we're going to be planning to send out <clears throat> maybe groups of threes for the year if we have them booked in advance and try to do some like special price for three. Uh, we have big plans, but we'd like to see a turnout like this in, in every, uh, you know, it's once a month. So. And it is, uh, we do have some special people here. So we're, if you have anybody, anybody have any ideas about how to get the word out, please uh, talk to me, okay? And one other thing, uh, I'd just like to find out how many people today, uh, how did you find out about this? Was uh, raise your hand so that we have an, an indication. Uh, by email, we sent out. Okay. Uh, all right. And <clears throat> word of mouth. Word of mouth, I would say. Word of mouth. Yeah. Who's the parole board? <laughs> so most I'd say word of mouth again. So spread the word. And uh, again, if you have an email address, you want to be notified, please uh, leave it at the front door. So I'm going to turn you over to uh, Mr. Ted Green. Who's doing his Christmas? It's nice to have the grounds not to do the electrocution dance here. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I do thank you Paul, for coming out in this nasty weather. And um, let's see, were there handouts given to you folks? Did you guys get those sheets? I guess that will happen in a little while now. Instead, uh, hey Danny, do you, do you have those sheets? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Gibson guitar is very polite, well-mannered, you know? For the blues. This one's a little unruly. Because she's tuned really low. Well, not that low. A couple of keys.
get a lot of trouble playing the blues, you know. I sure do. You see me trying to get out of it too. Because <laughs> you just let uh, some melodies try to take over, but sometimes the chords don't know what to do. Sometimes it's reversed. Herbie Hancock, I like what he said about playing. He said, there are three things. Sometimes he lets his mind run everything. And then sometimes he lets the hands run it. And sometimes he lets the ears run it. I wonder what he would call not letting any of it run it. <laughs> brains here, they, they sometimes, they just don't know what to do. But they'll get better as things go. So, um, it's Christmas time. So, you know, we brought some uh, kind of Christmas handouts. Um, sometimes I'm very shy up here, sometimes I'm very aggressive. I'm feeling pretty shy, I don't know why, but you forgive me and uh, Keisha will even look up at you people. <laughs> We have a, one of the pages is very busy looking. It's got uh, various harmonizations of the beginning of a. Uh, Twelve days of Christmas. My mom once sent me a dirty joke in the mail. It's based on this, you know, it went on and on, you know, every verse, five stinking this and seven rounding this. Actually, it was a funny joke. Uh, my brother over there probably remembers because uh, uh, where's my where's my brother? Oh, there we are. And uh, um, it starts out somebody gets this uh, this missive in the mail, you know, four golden hands, in it, you know, and they're delivering the actual things that are sung about. But it starts to get bad, you know. Seven oxen parts or whatever it was, things you just don't need. It really wasn't a dirty joke now that I think about it. It was just a dark humor. But we won't worry about all that. We do have some notes on this page. I should explain the, the system for those of you who haven't seen my hieroglyphics here. Most of the time when people use these chord grids, as they're called, as you probably know, most of you, um, those are the strings going vertically and the frets going horizontally. It's just a representation of any place on the fretboard, a few frets at a time little section at a time. And um, the normal way this operates is that you get uh, geography out of it. It shows you where on the fretboard to play 
by the number that's placed, in this case, on the left of every diagram. You know, like in the first one where there's a single note there on the 12th fret, it's just showing you to play that one note right up here. But um, the system I had to evolve as a, as a guitar and a music instructor, and especially a guitar instructor in this case, it became necessary to show more than geography. It, you need to show chronology sometimes, too. You know, uh, when things are played. So you'll notice up there in the top left corner it says playing order. So the dots are all played first, and then an, anything with an X, either separate or on top of a note, that comes next. Anything that's X'd or crossed, you might call it cross. And then uh, the last thing is a square or box. If we need to show three different attack points in a diagram, we use that. And uh, on this page, we didn't need more than that. So <clears throat> now let's talk about those spaghetti lines. Uh, it wasn't a bad day with the inkwell. It was on purpose. Like, for instance, between diagrams one and two, that's, a, for those of you who read notes, it simply is like a tie in music. It means don't strike the second note, or to put it in reverse, sustain the first note. So, we have this uh, This note's still ringing as we get into diagram two there. We can go back to this guitar that's strung at pitch, so if anybody's taking this, you'll hear it. Concert pitch. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll play this first example, and then maybe I'll ask somebody in the audience to explain to me what what happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 what happened here? <laughs> it's an ancient Babylonian art of chord collision. Actually, the key of D, Polish. <laughs> Admonish. 